Okay, welcome to New Trading Week, uh, fellow traders. So um, this week, um, I want to start recording a video about uh, what our thoughts on the current market condition, as well as uh, what to look out for. Okay, so um, let's start with uh, looking at the uh, Forex calendar. So you can see over here that uh, today is the 6th of April. And uh, this week, news-wise, it's kind of like, except uh, we have the uh, Aussie cash rate, the RBA rate statement, as well as uh, this ECB monetary policy meeting accounts. Okay, so uh, this CAT news is super important. Okay, so uh, if we look at this over here, uh, this ECB, uh, to be honest, we don't know how this will really affect the market because it's not your usual ECB conference meeting. It's uh, something else. So um, we have to see how uh, the market reacts, but um, this is uh, the outlook for the week. Okay, so uh, if you want to trade, uh, you probably focus on uh, trading Aussie. Okay, probably after the news, you look at uh, trading Aussie and uh, you look at trading into a uh, cat. Okay. So without further ado, uh, let's go into the charts. Okay, um, the past two weeks has been really very difficult to trade. Uh, especially with trading your own, you kind of know that uh, the market's very difficult. Probably because uh, you know uh, the market has moved a lot. So after a big movement, what happens is that uh, price needs to consolidate first before uh, you get very nice clean movements. Okay. Uh, with that being said, uh, right now what we're looking at over here is the euro dollar chart. Okay, and this is the uh, H4 chart. Okay, so as you can see over here now, uh, we're kind of like in a downtrend. Okay, uh, let me just explain to you why we're in a downtrend. Okay, so there's a swing low, there's a swing high, there's a swing low, okay, and there's a swing high. Okay, and right now we are over here. Okay, so uh, we're kind of in a downtrend. Okay, let me just clear this up. Okay, we are kind of in a downtrend right now. And uh, this was kind of like a previous support. Okay, this zone over here. And if you look left, you realize that uh, it kind of, you know, it, it was kind of like a, a resistance here. Okay, this entire zone over here. Over here, right? You see it was supported, retested, retested. When it broke up, it resulted in this uh, big movement up. Okay. Um, so price now is actually retracing up here, okay, uh, into resistance. Okay, if you have problems seeing, just switch uh, to the line chart, okay, and you can see that uh, you can just map out this line over here very clearly, right, the pit here. Uh, you can draw another line here, which is uh, the valley here, okay. Switch it to the line chart, uh, back to the candlestick chart. You can see that uh, price is now uh, slowly retracing up to, uh, to this zone. Okay, so um, we'll probably be looking to short euro dollar. Okay, uh, so if let's say we were to short it here, uh, where can uh, you know where can uh, euro dollar possibly fall to? Uh, first zone will probably be somewhere here. Okay, you see this uh, pin bar here. Okay, this will probably be intermediate uh take profit level, then followed by uh the recent low. Okay, so if you know you are able to get a nice short uh, position over here. You know, you put your stop loss uh, kind of over here, which is kind of above the uh, supply zone. Okay, uh, we haven't really taught how to identify supply zone yet, uh, but uh, in the next few videos, hopefully we'll find some time to explain to you how we know that this is supply zone. Okay, so uh, supply zone is actually different from uh, support and resistance zone. Okay, uh, but we don't want to confuse you right now. Okay, just uh, know that, uh, let's say you take a shot here, and uh, you, you know you have a take profit over here. And it's a nice uh you know risk reward of one is to one point six four. Okay. So anyway, uh that's our bias. Of course, uh make sure you do your own homework. Uh just just this what we are looking at. Okay, the next currency I'm talk about will be a uh, Aussie dollar. Uh because uh, uh as I said, uh there is a uh, Aussie cash rate, right? Uh we'll probably be trading after the news. We don't want to trade into the news because uh this is happening on Tuesday. Okay, so if you enter today, you probably get uh, you know, uh, one day of movement only. Okay, so uh, Aussie dollar has been following this a uh, very unique pattern. Uh, you can see over here that, uh, you know, it's been selling down, it pull back, sell down, pull back. So if you use a Fibonacci, what's very interesting is that uh, 
you know, uh, it, all, it almost always pulls back quite close to uh, the 61, 618 level, which is the golden ratio. So you see, uh, let me show it to you. Okay, here it pulls back the 618 again. And right now it's actually pulling back to 618 yet again. Okay, so this is a pattern that we notice in uh, in um, Aussie dollar. So price actually at uh, 618 again. Okay, and if you use the trend line, you draw it down, you realize that, oh, there's actually confluence. Okay, and if you look left, switch the line chart and look left. Okay, you'll find that uh, there's a uh, low here. Okay, uh, there's one here also. But anyway, if you just take this one and switch to the uh, back we realize that price actually spike to um you know the 61.8 together with uh, this recent uh, low which was actually a support now it's uh, acting as resistance okay uh, the reason why we didn't send out uh, this signal as a short is because uh, this is price at 0 0.6018 currently okay um i mean it doesn't take a genius to know that uh, 0 0.60 is a round number Okay, it's a psychological number uh, and it's a very strong number. So if you short it here right now, uh, you're probably going to face a lot of uh, support at uh, 0 0.60 level just because it's a support, right? So uh, I don't think it's a good uh, time to short it right now. Okay, um, probably what would be a better trade would be uh, if, you know, price uh, goes down, right? Breaks uh, the 6, 0 0.60 level on a day close and uh, retrace back up, okay? Uh, I prefer to trade it like that, uh, probably because it's easy on your psychology as well. So just imagine if you take the trade over here and uh, price keeps, uh, uh, you know, just uh, staying over here without uh, going anywhere. Okay, then you don't know whether should you take profit or should you, you know, run with it. So uh, to us, we like to always take trades uh, that move fast. Okay, uh, it's not always possible, but uh, we try our best. So uh, let's just uh, wait for this. Okay. But uh, same like euro dollar, uh, we are bearish on this. Okay, the next currency we're going to talk about is a uh, cat. Okay, so uh, let's look at a uh, dollar cat uh, right now. Okay, so you can see over here that a uh, dollar cat is kind of in a mess too. Uh, it's in consolidation mode. Uh, let me just clear the drawings. Okay, it's in a uh, consolidation mode. So right now you can see that uh, there's a lot of wicks over here, like the upper wicks. And uh, you have all these wicks, okay? And you also see that there is a pattern, kind of like a squeeze, right? So right now for dollar cat, uh, you don't really see a pattern. I see a very clear sign, okay? Uh, you also have this low over here, this candle low over here, okay? And of course, all these candle lows which are acting as a potential support. So, um, dollar cat is going to be very difficult to trade uh, for this week until probably after the news. Um, probably if you wait after the news, you get a very clear direction on the direction, probably up or probably down. Okay, but uh, if you you must take a direction, it probably be more bullish because uh, you can see over here uh, that uh, we are actually in the uptrend. Right, I mean it's very clear. You have a high, you have a lower high. Sorry, you have a high, you have a low. Okay, you have a higher high you have a higher low okay so uh this uh, pair is definitely an uptrend okay and uh we want to buy but uh we need to wait we need to be patient okay so don't force the trade uh if you see that there's a big candle that uh you know closes above this entire zone okay you know something like this this candle closes like this then you know that uh dollar cat is ready to resume its up move but uh for now uh, it will be good, it will be wise to, you know, just wait for it, okay? So I think the last thing I want to talk about today is uh, USD JPY, okay? So uh, USD JPY, uh, what happened was that there was a spike over here. Uh, you can see over here that uh, there's this spike here, okay? And uh, today price seems to be going above it, okay? Um, but just take note that uh, right now the time is actually 10.34 a.m. Okay, so uh, this week has just started and you know, um, this is the Asia session. Okay, so we don't want to make any conclusions that this level has been broken just yet. Okay, because uh, what can happen is that during the Euro session, you know, they just sell down. Okay, so uh, I think today uh, we want to take it a bit slow. 
we want to watch for the Euro session and especially the uh, US session, which is uh, you know, the crossover between the Euro and the US session. Okay, once uh, we see that uh, this level is broken and supported, uh, then it probably our buyers would be probably to uh, you know carry on and um, buying a dollar yen. Okay, so let's say uh, this level can uh, can can be broken today. Let's say it is broken. Then of course the next level will be uh, the recent high over here. Okay, and of course uh, intermediate level would be the uh, one one zero level. Okay, uh, one one zero level it's uh, it's kind of like no brainer level because one one zero is a psychological level, a strong one. As well as if you look left, uh, you you, see, you do see that uh, previously there was some uh, levels of uh, resistance over here, resistance, and then after that you know it was uh, tested just a bit, and over here it was tested again. So uh, if you're going to buy, uh, actually we have a good profit margin because uh, you are, we are only at about 108.9 and uh, we have a move towards 110. That's about 110 pips again. Okay, but of course you have to see uh, the daily close. If the price closes over here, right, which is maybe 109.58 and your stop loss must be here, then uh, probably it doesn't make sense from a risk to reward ratio okay, because it's too far. Okay. So uh, what we want to do is want to wait. Okay, uh, I know most of you guys don't like to wait. Okay, honestly, I also don't like to wait. But uh, sometimes it's better not to trade. Okay, uh, I think I lost a lot of money across uh, my career in trading uh, because I refuse to wait. So I think a uh, patient is something that you learn over time. Right, you learn to wait for the best opportunity. Right, you will not force a trade. And I know uh, many of you guys are, you know, the condition to trade every day, right? Your broker tells sends you a million trades and you want to trade every day. But uh just just remind you that uh that's not the way to make money. Okay, if you want to wait, you must uh slowly uh you know stop your target, really just wait for the market to come to you and not force a trade. Okay, so uh that's it for this video. If you like this video and gotten value, uh please subscribe to our channel. Okay, if you have a question about a concept or you want a particular uh, insight about uh, you know a particular trading strategy or just anything, okay, just comment in the uh, section below and uh, we'll answer, we'll try our best to answer your questions because uh, our goal is to create more content which helps you. Okay, not content which uh, just we think are important, but we want to provide content that uh, actually helps you. Okay, we spend a lot of money on our education. So if um, there's something uh, that we can help you with, uh, we'll be willing to share with you. Uh, but we cannot share with you if uh, we don't know what's your struggle. So comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and uh, that's it for this video. So have a good trading week ahead. We'll see you in our next video.